Hey y'all, it is Andrea here from VW Family Farm. Welcome back to the farm. Um, I actually feel like a human today. I am in real clothes. I have been under the weather. I have had basically food poisoning for about five days now. It has, it's a great weight loss plan. Let me just put that out there, but not the way you'd want to lose weight. Uh, I told Ben I've lost about six pounds just this week. Um, and today I finally feel better. Uh, I think we're gonna make it, so that's good. Um, but I told Ben yesterday, I said, I really wanna do a garden tour and get out and show them my garden, but I just didn't have it in me. I just didn't have the energy. And uh, so he said, well, I'll film it. So he filmed y'all a fantastic garden tour and I'm just gonna let you see what all I've got going on in my garden. And then as the year progresses, I'm gonna be talking to you about these specific varieties and uh, what all we have going on, what we like, what does well, and all those different types of things. Cause I've planted some stuff that I've never planted before and I'm really anxious to see how it turns out. So I hope you guys enjoy this little overview tour of our garden. And then it is swarm season in full effect here. So Ben's got a little bee action at the end of this video for you guys too. So Andrea called me at work this afternoon and said, hey, I'm looking over across the across the yard over there and it looks like you've got some bees swarming. I hurry up and get finished what I was doing and uh, head home from work, which it was about an hour drive. Checked all over over there, didn't see them. But come and checked one of my swarm traps. I say we caught them. So I got some uh, nukes out of the freezer. That's where I keep them sometimes to keep them fresh and um, where wax moths and things don't get in them to destroy them. While those were thawing out, I helped her out here in the garden. We are all finished setting up all the tomato cages. Now I'm gonna try to run over there and dump those out and put them in that uh, one of them nuke boxes. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this snappy. They're starting to come out. There must be a gap in it, evidently as way it looks. I got the hole plugged off. And then we'll set them right here. Set my lid right here beside it just in case when I dump, they go over in there and kind of shake them down in here too.
It's actually quite a few bees. Hmm. Look at that, I put the swarm trap back down there. They are marching in. We'll get them in there and we'll do it again. I might should have brought a 10 frame box over here for this. I didn't quite realize that's so big. 